In a matter of days now, cicadas are expected to emerge. Many say just as soon as it gets warm enough for them to come out. Yeah, admit it, you're kind of looking at the ground, right? Looking for holes. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. All right, as medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, for many, that's leading to a lot of anxiety not easy to overcome. Hey there, everybody. Do these insects that sort of fly at you rather than to you? kind of make you say, ooh, and your skin crawls? Man, you are not alone. The good news is, if you're anxious about them, you are likely to have a lot of company. For some, the sound of the cicada is enough to send a signal of anxiety. I hate bugs, and they fly at you, and they just, they're so loud, <laughs> so not a fan. <laughs> that not being a fan has a name. Rachel Brunner can take comfort that she has Right, we call it an entomophobia. That's the fear of insects. But Diane Mushabin, an employee assistance counselor, says all that buzzing around? This is not normal to have billions of big insects flying rather clumsily all around us. Can lead to a true physical reaction. Oh, a lot of tightness, heart racing, maybe their chest feels super tight. They might feel even kind of faint. They might believe that they're going to pass out. Her suggestion for cicada anxiety management, tell your friends what you're feeling. I'm just nervous. Like, I was so excited for summer to be outside and everything, and I don't want to be outside when they're here. <laughs> Once you've expressed that, you need to head out and face your fear. Because after a few minutes, anxiety like that will decrease. But the worst thing you can do is expose yourself to the item and then flee from it. That just, that's going to increase your anger or anxious fear responses. After a long pandemic year where we were mainly stuck inside, Rachel Bronner says she plans to heed this advice. I mean, no sense in not letting your own wings take flight, right? We'll get out there. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Now, even though these are temporary, Diane says it doesn't make the feeling any less important or any less real. We all need to remember that. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you. And when all those cicadas start coming out, share images with us, upload your pictures and videos by clicking on the chime in tab at the top of the local 12 homepage. You might see them on TV.